Y'all better prepare yourselves because I am about to rant. Now, normally I'm not a ranty person at all. I like to focus on the positive and, you know, life is always good. Every single day, life is great. But today, let me tell you, let me tell you the things. I'm going to tell you the things. All right, so if you guys are following me on Twitter, you would probably have seen that I found a dog this morning. It was a cute little pup. Didn't have an owner. Looked pretty healthy. A little bit skinny, but it was just a little puppy dog just chilling. And if y'all don't know, I am a huge animal advocate. I love dogs. I love cats. I love birds. I love snakes. I love... I love everything, for the most part. And my mama has taught me that you should always rescue animals. Always. So I was headed to work this morning and I saw this dog and I was like, well, crap, my shift starts in like five minutes. What do I do? So I asked my boss, I said, can I have about 10 minutes with a dog? I just want to call somebody. I want to make sure that the dog's going to be okay while I'm on my shift. So my boss said, sure, that's no problem. Just 10 minutes though, okay? Because I need you back on your shift. So I got the A-OK -okay to check on the dog and he was so cute. He was, uh, he was small. He was obviously a puppy. He was not, uh, chopped. Uh, I'll leave it at that. Um, he was tan, really pointy ears. He was really cute. So I leaned down, started petting the dog, and was just like, who do you belong to, little one? You're so cute. Where's your owner? And then while I was petting him, he humped me. Yeah, he just started going at it and humping me and getting a good grip and just staying on me and humping me. He won't. I think he wants to stop. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> what a horny boy. I was trying to get a really cute Snapchat of him so that I could share it with some people and be like, hey, do you know this dog? But no, he has to start humping me and latching on and I had to like freaking run around in a circle, but he would still latch on. What a little, mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. But I can't be mad. That's how puppies at that age are when they're not chops. You know, they, they hump any girl that moves. So at the end of the day, I wasn't mad at the dog. He's just being a dog. But I was trying to call people to find out where I could take him, like the Humane Society or the vet, and nobody was answering. Now normally I would just take the dog with me and go to the vet or something, but I was on the clock so I couldn't. I basically had to abandon the dog until the end of my shift before I could do anything. Thankfully I only had a two hour shift today. I got off at 10 a.m. so that worked out pretty well. So after my shift ended, I went to go look for the dog and he was not there. I guess he had wandered off. So I decided to go to the most reliable college app there is, Yik Yak. If you don't know what Yik Yak is, Yik Yak is an app that's really popular in college. Usually people use it as a way to get booty calls, but basically you can post anonymously to whoever is in a 10 mile radius of you. So if you're at a college, you know, it's pretty much everybody at the college. So I decided to go to Yik Yak and somebody had posted a picture of the dog and I was like, well, where, where is it now? I was typing, I was like, where, where is the dog? Now a couple of people responded saying that, oh, he's outside this building. So I went to go look, he wasn't there and I just figured, I'm just gonna go grab my car and I'm just gonna start parading around campus trying to find this dog. So I went and got my car, started looking around campus, and I was keeping up to date on Yik Yak to see where the dog was. Some people were saying, oh, he's here. Oh, I saw him uh, 10 minutes ago here. So I was just driving around like a madman trying to find this dog. The thing is though, when I responded to their Yak saying like, oh, where's he now, where's he now? No, nobody responded to me. Even one person just said, LOL. Why? Why? What is so funny about me trying to track down a dog? Needless to say, I was... Why? Needless to say, I was pretty frustrated with everybody's lack of team effort. I decided that asking Yik Yak was not gonna do me any good, so I decided to ask people who were walking around. So I decided to pull over into a little carpool lane, and I tried to get the attention of college kids who were walking by, but nobody paid attention to me. Pretty much every single college kid who walked by had their headphones in and they had clocked out the entire outside world completely. I, I'm pretty sure a bomb could have gone off behind them. They would have been like, oh, what was that? I managed to get the attention of one of these girls though only because I had to honk my horn. And she looked at me with a very snooty look on her face and walked over like, what do you want out of class? So I asked her, I said, hey, have you seen a dog walking around here? She's like, no, sorry. And then she just turned around and walked off towards the bus. I'm like, Honey, please, I'm looking for a damn dog. You can take 10 seconds out of your day to sit back and talk to me for a quick second. I then thought, whatever, she ain't even worth my time. No help whatsoever. I decided I had to return to Yik Yak for some help, and thankfully somebody posted saying, hey, my friend posted a Facebook status about a dog that she just picked up. So immediately I responded. I was like, well, is it a tan dog? Is it a little dog? Like, is this, is this the same dog that we're thinking of? It took her 30 minutes to respond. That was 30 minutes of me running around in circles trying to find a dog that may or may not have been picked up. But she did actually respond, so I guess that's good. But unfortunately, all she said was, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, what? I asked a bunch of questions. I asked uh, what what time the Facebook post was. I asked freaking what the dog looked like, and she just said, yeah. After she responded, yeah, I decided to ask a couple more questions like, oh, who's your friend? Um, can I see the Facebook post? Uh, 
Do you have a kick that I could possibly kick you so that we can exchange information because you don't want to post it publicly online? Thankfully, she responded very quickly this time, but her response was, I don't want to exchange kicks. I have a boyfriend. Okay, okay. You don't want to exchange kicks to talk about a lost dog because you have a boyfriend. Got it. I never even mentioned my gender or anything. You just assume that I'm a guy trying to get in your pants. Oh my god, I was so frustrated. Whew. It was at that moment that I realized that she was going to be no help. So I decided to actually search out the Facebook post myself by searching for my town and like words like lost and dog and puppy and... And thankfully, after about 10 minutes of searching, I found the Facebook post that confirmed that it was the same dog. So I decided to reach out to the girl who had the dog. I messaged her and said, hey, if you need any help with a dog, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. I was looking for him to take him to the vet to see if he's microchipped. Like, if you need any help, please let me know. And I went ahead and sent her a friend request too, just in case she needed to contact me. She then messaged back saying, who are you? And then declined my friend request. Guys, I do not like college kids today, I'm not going to lie. Now the way Yikak works, you can upvote and downvote any post that you see, and if it is downvoted, I believe, five times, then it gets removed completely. So I posted saying, hey, the dog has been found, all is well, we have nothing to worry about, and it got downvoted within five minutes or something, and it got completely deleted. It was at this moment that I realized that I had to make a rant video about this whole freaking situation. I gotta tell y'all, it was a pretty annoying situation, but now that I have talked it over in a video, I feel so much better, man. Oh. I don't feel as full of anger or anything. I just, I finally vented, I got it off my chest, and ah, I feel so much better. All right, what time is it? Oh, I'm 10 minutes late for class. Well, that's great. On the bright side, I will be going to class ready to learn because I am not full of anger or stress or anything. I vented, I feel a lot better. Now the question is, should I finish this game or not? I'm already late to class. Hmm, I think I need to go. I'm pretty late for class. <laughs> Man, what? Why did I think it was a good idea to record? Like, what am I doing? You need my land, you need my phone. All right, now I gotta head to class, but I wanna end this on a good note. So have a good day. Uh, keep it positive. Bada bing, bada bing. I, I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs>